Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe. Word of the day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Love in this world does not last forever, but God's love does. Think about that. He will never stop loving you. Read in the book of Ezra, 1 through 5, and the verse of the day is Ezra 3.11. They sang with praise and thanksgiving to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love to Israel endures forever. Then all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord, because the foundation of the Lord's house had been laid. Word of the day is forever. It is a Hebrew word, olam. It means everlasting, always perpetual eternity. In our reading today, King Cyrus is allowing the Jewish exiles in his empire the right to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple in 538 BC. And in chapter 3, where our verse of the day is, they are rebuilding the altar and the temple. I want to read from a devotion I wrote for, for the first five app on the book of Ezra. There's something special about going home. It is familiar. It is where we belong. And for the Israelites returning from exile, the ache in their hearts, longing for their return home, overwhelmed their weary souls. But home was not like it was when they left, and restoration seemed impossible. In Ezra 1-6, through the story unfolds with God's people returning home and God making a way for them to rebuild the temple. God himself had opened the door for Israel to return home. The Lord gave favor and stirred the spirit of King Cyrus to issue a proclamation that the people of God would build the temple— The king even paid for it to happen. What was stolen by King Nebuchadnezzar was returned, and the edict fulfilled the promise spoken through Jeremiah that the exiles would return in 70 years. God was at work. He moved in the hearts of kings to work his will, and he spoke through prophets to encourage the people. But the process would not be easy. Sometimes we think our rescue should look a certain way, and we could become disillusioned. But God cares so much more about the process than just the outcome. What is the rescue for which you long? God's people thought the temple was the rescue, but it was an encounter with God in the process of building the temple that restored them to their God. Even good things can become a stumbling block. God's people would be tempted to idolize the temple and make it their rescue. About 500 years after the temple was built, Christ told the Jewish people that once again, the temple would be destroyed. God's rescue was certain but a temporary temple was not the rescue God had in mind. No more temporary temples and no more separation from God's presence, for God dwells within each of us by our faith in Jesus Christ. Our rescue is not in things. God is our rescue. Starting in Ezra 3, verses 3, 11, and 13. It says, Despite their fear of the peoples around them, they built the altar on its foundation and sacrificed burnt offerings on it to the Lord, both the morning and evening sacrifices. When the builders lay the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, took their places to praise the Lord, as prescribed by David, king of Israel. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, He is good, His love toward Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. No one could Distinguish the sounds of the shouts of joy from the sound of weeping because the people made so much noise and the sound was heard far away. Sometimes it takes going through hard things in this temporary world to help us appreciate that our God is forever, forever faithful, forever the lover of our souls. What temporary struggles are you facing? Take them to your forever God who is for you. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Zechariah.